I'm Father Robert from Gadget at the Techstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center in Las Vegas for Interop 2011, and this is another episode of Interop Makes You Smarter. I'm here with F5's Ken Bocchino, who's going to explain to us why load balancing is dead. Ken, thank you very much for coming on. Nice to see you. Now, I have heard this catchphrase before, load balancing is dead. What does that mean? Let's start, first of all, with explaining what is load balancing. So load balancing is the basic principle of having uh, availability beyond just a single device. Okay. So okay. really ensuring that if we have a single device fail, we have mo more than one that will take up the slack. I got so. it. So uh, a load balancer would say have five web servers behind it so that Correct. if any one web server gets congested, it can always switch over the load to the others. Yeah, so it's not just making sure you have availability. It's also ensuring that you can scale out your application across multiple different devices. Okay. That's a pretty high level concept and it sounds useful, so why is it dead? I mean, explain to my viewers why this isn't just marketing speak, you know, another way for a company to get attention. What do you mean when you say load balancing is dead? So what we're actually doing is we're getting more intelligent into the application itself. So we're doing application delivery. Okay. So no longer are we just simply taking a port and load balancing it between multiple different servers. We're getting more intelligent with the application. We're understanding the application design and principles. We're capable of correctly ascertaining whether or not the, the application is healthy on each device. And then we're providing services beyond just the simple get me to the port. Security, uh, S SEO, uh, SSO type functionality to ensure that when we're working with the application, we're making sure that we're enhancing it and getting it to the actual end user. Okay, so I think I, I, I get what you're saying now. Load balancing was for back in the day when we were just serving out pages. You know, now that we're more application centric and service centric, you need a smarter box. You need something that actually understands what's going on rather than serving out something that's duplicated across a, a series of servers. Correct, so we're All making right. sure that you know, we're making sure the application is healthy, responding, we're providing security uh, benefits to the uh, overall delivery of that application. All right, now, brass tacks. Here's a practical example. I'm running an enterprise that, uh, well, let's say it, it gives services out to the entire world. And it could be any sort of service. Let's say it's a social network or it's an email client, whatever it might be. I've got users in every part of the globe. How do I use F5 to make sure that that application can be used everywhere? So beyond just the principle of load balancing being dead and application delivery, uh, we're talking about global availability. Right. So in conjunction with the application delivery functionality, a section of that is actually dedicated to the global availability of an application across uh, multiple different theaters. So you might be a, a business user sitting in, in uh, Chicago, and you might have also a business user sitting in Tokyo, Japan. Um, what we're doing with GTM, for example, global uh, traffic management, is ensuring that the application is available in each one of those theaters. In GTM, what it does is it allows you to ascertain the health of the, app, the application, understand where you are, for the example of the guy sitting in China, China and the guy sitting in Chicago, to ensure that we're going to be delivering the application in a local location. So when we're talking global availability, we're ensuring that when you are coming from China or you are coming from Chicago or any other location in the globe, we can make an intelligent decision to say, we have a place in the cloud in this location and we can get you to that location quickly, as opposed to having to go long haul it back across the pond. Okay, now that explains why load balancing is dead, but where do you see this going in the next two, three, five years? I mean, where are, now that we've moved from load balancing to application delivery, what's next? So I think we're going to actually start seeing more and more applications tie into the application delivery network. You're seeing it right now with cloud networks. Um, we're playing into the cloud network by offering virtual type uh, services. Um, there's VE editions of our platform out. So you can actually put the load balancing or the application delivery functionality directly into the cloud now. Right. Uh, and that includes the, uh, the global availability functionality as well. So that intelligent decision to say, I need to get my user to the closest possible data center can actually live in the cloud as well. Now, if they want to find out more about your solutions or just about this solution in general, where should they go? Uh, they can obviously visit us here at the booth or also online at f5.com. Ken, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm Father Robert. Stay tuned for more Interop 2011. And remember, you just got learned. <laughs>